Hello once again, welcome to our e-learning for today and for today's video we're going to discuss our spelling activities and let's dive right into our topic for today and here are the things to do. We're going to discuss today your spelling worksheet and your activities. This is again required and again to remind you this activity if you send this to me these points will be counted in your final grade and by the way don't forget to send this to my email or send pictures to the class dojo now let's go to the activities for today let's go to spelling number one so for your first activity you're going to discuss and answer plurals so what are plurals by the way so you can see here words from 1 to 20 including challenge words uh, words that are in their plural form so plural form which means you need to add s or es or sometimes you need to change the word to make it plural so these are actually nouns so we can see number one echoes halves solos leaves heroes clips scarves potatoes pianos volcanoes sheriffs cobs tomatoes shallows wolves ratios studios yourselves studios and bookshelves what are you going to do is that you're going to fill in this num these numbers or the blanks. So the blank were falling off the trees as we drew toward the farm. So what are the things that are falling out coming from the trees? Are those echoes or halves or solos or leaves? So what are you going to do is you're going to answer number one in this blank over here and then write your answer. So I'm going to give you the correct answer right now. So for number one, you're going to write leaves because leaves are falling from the trees so what you're going to do right now is to answer the leaves over here and as you can see that's up to 10 so we have 1 to 10 and you can get the answers from 1 to 20 so that's what you're going to do let's go to the next activity okay so in the second activity you're going to follow this simple task and you're going to find the nouns that if they're in plural form you're going to add s only okay so for example Number three, solo. Solo is the singular form of the word of this word, solo. If, but if you're going to make it plural, you're going to add only S. So solos uh, should be written in, in this box. So add only S. In the second one, you're going to add ES. So these words, when they are in their plural form, you're going to add ES. So for example, echoes. So you're going to write echoes in this second box over here because it's the singular form is echo only e c h o but if you're going to write the plural form you're going to add e s so that's why it is should be written in this box and by the way i'm going to explain to you right now what is number three so what you're going to do is you're going to change the f into v and you're going to add e s so i'm going to explain to you right now quickly what is this one so for this one you're going to like have the word halves so halves is coming from the word half, okay? And then you're going to change that into V, the F into V and add ES. So I'm going to explain more details to you right now in this PowerPoint presentation. So these are the examples of what I'm talking about. So there are words in um, English language that end in F or FE, but if you're going to write them in plural form, you're going to change this F or FE into V and you're going to add an ES or an S. So this is an example. So we have five examples over here. So we have the word knife. Knife is ending in F and E, but that's for singular. But if you're going to write that in plural, you're going to change the F into V and then add ES. So what are you going to do right now? So the it will become knives. So knife into knives. What are you going to do? Again, F is to V into V and then add S if there's an E over here or an ES. Next, we have life, okay? So um, the life, it will be uh, changed to V, okay? Change that to V and then add S or ES, lives, it will become lives. Next, we have wife. Wife is ending in FE and you're going to change that into V and that add ES, it will become wives. And we have cough, so that's only F. You'll change that into V, it will become V and then add ES, calves, and finally, leaf that is leaves so change the f into v and then add the s so this is the some words in the english language not all of the words in the in the english language that will end in f or fe will be changing to v and then you will be adding es or s uh, that's not the case so there are some words only so for example we have like these five words only okay so don't forget about that okay so that's the lesson we go now to the third activity for today 
and that's the spelling number three so let's go in so we've done this a hundred times in our classroom before so what are you going to do is to find the misspelled words circle them and then write the correct words in this space here so what are you going to do again is again if there are mistakes in this paragraph you're going to circle like for example studios is a mistake circle them and write the correct word in the spaces here so that's a 1 to 12 so I think you know what to do over here okay so we go to the next activity so for the reminders if you're done with the three activities for today I'm going to wait for this activity until 9 a.m. tomorrow so you're going to do the Wednesday's worksheet these are actually required and remember that this activity is also included in your final grade just like the Socrative so don't forget that send this to my email and I think that's the end of our quick lesson for today. This is Mr. Johnson signing off. Thank you and goodbye.